Hi, Roy Williams with Airframe Components, and today our topic of discussion is Piper PA-28 and PA-32 series aircraft. Uh, for display purposes today, I have a Hershey bar wing on my right hand side and a taper wing on the left hand side. I know there's been a lot of discussion over the last couple of years about the structural integrity of, the, of these particular wings. The original prototype was flown in January of 1960, uh, which means that the oldest Cherokee is coming up on 61 years in service. The original design, the spar, the fuselage was load tested and fatigue tested over 480,000 times with no structural deficiencies noted. So let's just uh, start out by saying that this is a proven design, it is a safe design, and structural integrity is proven in this particular style of wing. Uh, on the original wing, uh, Piper called it the constant cord wing, uh, referred to in the industry as the fat wing Piper or the Hershey bar Piper. Uh, there's this particular wing here. Uh, on the starting in 1974 on the left hand side here uh, Piper started building the warrior with what they called the semi taper wing uh, referred to in the industry as the taper wing Cherokees you'll notice that the taper wing Cherokees are about two feet longer in length but uh, an interesting note from where I'm standing here where the fuselage should be out to the end of the flap these wings are identical and then from that point out to the tip is where they differ. We'll start over here on my right hand side with the constant cord wing, the Hershey bar wing. Uh, of course, the airfoil is the same all the way from the fuselage to the tip. One interesting note is all of your PA-28 series aircraft and your PA-32 series aircraft, your Cherokee sixes, have the same structure from the fuselage out to the end of the flap. Uh, from that point out to the tip, uh, the PA-32 series aircraft have a heavier spar to accommodate the extra load of the fuel in the tip tank and also the extra payload due to the extra two seats in the fuselage. On the taper wings then, uh, again, constant cord wing from the fuselage out to the end of the flap and then from that point out then is where the airfoil starts to change and we start to go into the semi-taper wing. With the recent publication of uh, AD 2020-24-05, uh, and of course referencing to Piper Service Bulletin 1304A, uh, much discussion has been made on uh, ensuring that the structural integrity of these wings is maintained. Uh, a lot of discussion on how do we inspect these wings, uh, how do we ensure that uh, they don't have any cracks, uh, they don't have any corrosion issues, uh, how do we make sure that these uh, uh, wings are continuing to be operated in a safe manner. Uh, with the new AD 2020-24-05, uh, they call out for the installation of an inspection kit on the lower side of these wings uh, to gain access for visual inspection of the main spar and the rear spar, checking for corrosion, uh, checking for cracks, checking for structural integrity of the surrounding area of each of those wings. So now with the wings flipped over, we are looking at the bottom surfaces of each of these wings. Uh, of course, AD 2020-24-05 calls out for the installation of a access panel kit, 765-106. You can see that this fat wing does not have the access panel installed. Over here on my left, the taper wing does have the oval shaped kit already installed. The applicability chart on the AD uh, calls out for all of your fat wing Cherokees, your PA 28140s up through your PA 28180s, uh, your PA 32 aircraft uh, calls out for the installation of the kit as because the original fat wing Cherokees did not have the kit installed at the factory. Starting with the production of the taper wing Cherokee, the inspection kit was installed as part of the production process. Piper Service Bolton 1304A calls out for the installation of the access panel in one of these four quadrants on the lower side of the wing, uh, the quadrant being defined as the main spar, the rear spar, the fuselage, 
and the landing gear. So I have a rib right here at the fuselage, one rib right here, one rib right here, just inboard of the landing gear. There's a stringer running inboard to outboard right here. So I call these the quadrants, one, two, three, four. Now on the taper wing aircraft uh, produced with the inspection plate at the factory, Piper installed that panel right here, just inboard of the landing gear. There's a pulley bracket right inside right here, so that affords easier access for putting control cables in, getting access to that pulley bracket right in here. Uh, for the inspection purposes of the service bolt and end of the AD, we like to install this panel right here, just outboard of the fuselage, and this gives you a good vantage point to inspect the aft side of the main spar for corrosion, and then also the rear spar for corrosion, right where the steel attach plate is uh, fastened to the rear spar. Even though the AD applies only to the fat wing aircraft, we still want to make sure that we inspect all of the PA-28 and PA-32 series aircraft. Having an access panel installed in the lower surface of each of these wings gives us a good vantage point for inspecting the structure. Uh, we're looking at the main spar here. We're looking at the rear spar back here. Uh, again, these structures are the same on all the Cherokee wings, the fat wings and the taper wings. So the inspection portion of the AD should be complied with regardless of uh, what style of aircraft you have. One interesting note, the AD calls out for the installation of a 765-106V kit, V as in Victor. Uh, I have a kit right here from Piper. The kit is labeled as a 765-106, which was called out in earlier service bulletins. The installation instructions that were included with this kit are a 765-106V. Do not get overly concerned whether it's a 106 or a 106V kit, they are all the same kit. That's all for today's episode. Stay tuned for future videos from Airframe Components.